Hey y'all, this is Coach Booth, aka Craig Booth, author of the book, The Ball, Side, and Middle. Before I go into today's excerpt, I want to talk to you a little bit about the uh, coronavirus. My um, mentor and a great coach in our basketball community in Brooklyn, Ted Gustis, uh, revealed to us today, to the greater community, that uh, he's been infected with the virus. So uh, I just want to ask all the prayer warriors to lift them up in prayer. And if anyone could beat this, we know Ted can. He's in, he's in incredible shape. And uh, he's, a, he's a great person who definitely could uh, encourage people and motivate people to get through this. But it is scary, and I know he's dealing with it. And, um, you know, he's going to be okay. So I just wanted to kind of pass that on. Now, uh, turning my attention to the book ball side middle. I'm out here in my uh, deck in the backyard, so you might hear a little background noise from birds, dogs, whatever that goes on. But today is about dedication. It's the quality of being committed to a task or a purpose. And, you know, as a coach and a teammate, you know, you hear the um, question, are you dedicated? Are you committed to what you're doing, to the sport? A lot of people play different sports. Some, you know, in this community, they play two sports, football, basketball, baseball, et cetera. But um, I always question and wonder who's committed, how committed are you? And commitment starts with when do you get up and work on your game? Uh, when do you uh, put in the work to improve, to develop, to be better educated? Um, it comes from the term no days off. No days off means you put in work every single day to try to get better. Um, what I try to highlight here in the book is what does dedication mean? Um, how did dedication for me work because I was committed and dedicated to this sport more than anything that I possibly would have touched? But I also talked about something I thought was very interesting and some people may be offended by it or they may not agree with it. But, you know, when you see championships, let's go to watching Michael Jordan win a championship, LeBron James win a championship, uh, Kobe Bryant winning a championship. What did we see? We seen tears, tears of jubilation, tears of joy. Now you have a lot of other players on those teams, usually another 12, 13 players, and you'll see them excited, happy, jumping up and down, etc. cetera. Everybody's expressing and, and feeling great joy. However, it's not at the level of a Kobe, of a LeBron, of a Jordan, because those guys' dedication and commitment was to go out and, and win a championship. And they dedicated their lives and spent time and time again working and training and developing. They knew the work that they put in since childhood that eventually paid off for them to become this, this champion and to win. So you see those tears. You don't see tears coming from the 13th man on the bench. You see tears coming from those guys that put their footprint on the floor. So what I'm saying is you could be fortunate to be on a team with great players who put in the work and they carried you or allowed you to take the ride with them as they went on their journey. However, why not be that player that will experience those same feelings, those same joys that those players feel when they win? Or even a coach, when you see a coach get emotionally uh, uh, overjoyed with tears and excitement when he sees his team finally win a championship because all the work, the time, the effort that they put in to building that team up to get to where they want to be. So it's important that you can attach yourself to people that are winners and enjoy the ride and get the ring, get the trophy, whatever. Or you could be that player that has that gets up 6 o'clock in the morning, dedicates his time and his effort, works on his game, develops his game, practices with a purpose, plays with a purpose. Everything he does or she does is with a purpose. So that at the end of the day, when the joys, or let's just say when the payoff from the work that you put in uh, gives you tears of joy. And that's where dedication and commitment with a purpose means something. So when you go to the park and you go to work on your game, stay on task. Know that every day when you go, you don't say, I'm going to go put up shots. I'm going to go and improve my shooting. I'm going to improve my range, my release, my uh, catch, catch and shoot, my shooting on the move. 
stops and pops, whatever that case may be. And you're going to go there with a purpose and you're going to have specific things in your mind that you're going to work on and you're going to be dedicated to that, which means you're going to be committed to the task. And then when your homeboy or homegirl come over and say, hey, let's play 515, say, listen, I got to finish what I'm here to do and then I'll get to that because what's important is that you stay on task. So this is just another excerpt that's in the book, one of the many, many topics that we'll have. And I completed this uh, portion of the book today called Dedication. And once again, please pray for Coach Ted Gustis and also um, pray for everyone that is um, dealing with corona, whether you're dealing with it from a medical perspective, whether you are a medical worker in the field dealing with it, or whether you are one of us on the outside looking in, but praying that we don't detect it or attract it, nor or praying that we don't drive ourselves crazy sitting around virtually imprisoned. So um, just want to tell you all to stay healthy and keep your brain active. Read, watch as little media as possible, and just read books, uplifting things that make you laugh and smile. This is your boy, Coach Booth. And talking to you about an excerpt from the book, Ballside Middle, entitled Dedication.